All right, we're finally approaching the end of this authentication series. Now we're gonna be talking about the flip side from the auth routes, the API routes. We're gonna make another directory for that, which I believe I did in the last video, wire up our index.ts, and we're gonna go ahead and implement some things. We're going to at the entry point of the API router. Remember, these things still work from the top down when it comes to route matching and using of middleware. So we're gonna make our passport bear strategy be intercepting before every single API route. And its job will be if there is a bearer token, it will know how to take that and validate it and give us a return user payload. It will add a user if it exists, but whatever happens, even if it doesn't exist and it fails, it will go ahead and say next. It will pass along the buck to our individual routes. Meaning its job is to add the user and go the next, the next step in this routing process. If the user doesn't exist, it still goes to the next route in this routing process. And we're gonna make actually individual error handlers inside of routes themselves. You probably haven't thought about this before, but it'll make more sense as we dive on in with the code. So, as always, let's dive on in. In my code here, remember I had my basic auth router and my API. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this bare bones code go into my routes slash API directory and make our entry index.ts file. Uh, it needs to have nothing in it for right now. There we go. But we are gonna need to wire it up into this index.ts. So import our API router from this directory slash API. And we have to make the route for it. And we're gonna, you guessed it, use slash API and use the logic of the API router. That should round it out for our routes index.ts. So now we're moving back into our API index.ts. Uh, I don't have one for blogs yet, even though I said I was going to do that in the last video. So let's go ahead and make my blogs.ts paste, and we'll make this up real quick. This is going to be using db from up several at this point. There we go, up to yeah. db. There we go. We're going to do, we're just, we're just going to do two routes to actually show how this works on. I'm going to have a blog slash to get all, a rec, oh no, no, no. it's going to be an async, rec res next, there we go, and I'm going to copy this and paste it. And this one will be for my get one specific routes because I want to just demo how I can get all but block myself out from get one or vice versa, right? Just as a demo. We're going to try and catch some code here. We're, we're going to, as usual, console.log our error for development purposes, but let our server response be an internal server 500 error. And we're going to get all of our blogs from our await get all method. There we go. And once that's done, we're going to res.send our blogs response. And that's all we need to worry about there. So I'm going to paste this code down here. I don't need an if statement here. We're gonna say let id equal the request params dot id. Pass in our id there to get one blog. And that was a different method for get single blog. There we go. And it'll make more sense if we call this let blog equal, right? Instead of let blogs. There we go. Just had to fix up some syntax problems there. No big deal. Okay, um, before, let's see, yeah. So uh, we have to actually use this blogs API router inside of here. So again, let's, now I'm back in API index, just so we're all on the same page. Import my blogs router from this directory slash blogs. We wire it up into here to say router.get, or not router.use because we're using this router middleware. We're gonna give it the route of slash API slash blogs and use the logic in the blogs router. Now, what I mentioned about earlier is we want to have this passport bearer strategy happen before every API route. And all it does is it moves the rec user, rec request dot user along if it's a valid token, no matter what. And if there's no valid token, then just go ahead and moves forward. And we're gonna let our blogs router handle the specific error handling. 
So remember what I mentioned, it still works from top down. So if I include router.use above all my other routes, so if I had one for blogs, then one for users, then one for something else and something else and something else, like I had all these endpoints for these various tables and informations, as long as this router.use for the bear strategy is above all these API routes, it will filter down into all of them. It, this logic will happen before then. So we're gonna use on our request, response, and next callbacks. We're going to use, again, our passport. So at the top here, I'm going to import asterisk as passport from the passport module. And it is going to use a passport.authenticate, if you remember how we did that before. And it's going to use the bearer strategy. And that bearer strategy has a couple configurations. We're going to say starting this session as assumingly false. And then it has a callback of error, the user, if we can serialize one, and our info. Boom. And like I said before, if a user is authenticated on this bear token strategy, if user exists, then we're going to add our request.user as that user's information. So if that token validates, we get a user response from it, and we want to put it on the request object. And regardless of what happens, whether that's true or not, we want to return next, meaning once this intercepts the request and it adds the user if it does, or if it doesn't, either way, go to the next step. So this intercepts the requests, runs this bearer logic, so if we have a token, we do get a user and we add it on the request object, and then we go to the next thing. Otherwise, just go to the next thing, which would be down here to blogs if we're hitting up all blogs, right? So even if we hit all blogs, which probably shouldn't be blocked by an, is some like some kind of login request or token request, then it should go ahead and get us all blogs anyway, even if this uh, invalidates a token or has no token on it. So moving forward now, with this guy coded, we go down into our blogs.ts where I mentioned that we needed to write some kind of specific request handler function that will act as our router middleware. So above our routes i'm going to make a new new function and we're going to call it is admin or is guest or is logged in whatever you want to call it really and it's going to be of type request handler which should be built in for us and it should auto import we can do express dot request handler or we can import at the top whatever you want to do i like to have it a bit cleaner so let's imp let's do it auto import there we go so request handler and it's going to, again, take the same request, response, and next arguments, and essentially use those to mold what this guy has to do. And we're gonna, this is where you can implement whatever logic you want based on your roles or however have you have your schemas set up. I'm gonna say if there is no request.user present, or their request.user.role, which our um, validation system does add on for us, if it doesn't equal admin, meaning they have to be an administrator to view blogs for some reason, then we want to say, yo man, we can't do that because we're gonna return a send status of 401 unauthorized. Otherwise, go ahead and move on to the next thing. So if we get to this point, the request.user is added on by that bearer strategy. And we have this function now that we can include on these routes as middleware if we want to. At the moment, they're not wired up. So let's say I can view all blogs as a non-logged in person, but to view one blog, I have to be an is admin in order to do so. This way I'm blocking myself from viewing a single blog endpoint, but I can still do an all blogs endpoint. And that right there is your request handler. You can write this in many different ways and you can use it in however you want. You can have a guest at, uh, you can use your guest role for the people to be able to view all view one and insert but maybe updating and deleting have to have the admin role which you as your database administrator can go into your database and set that role manually unless you had a custom registration route for admins either way this should round out all we need to get our routers protected and in the next video we'll do some testing in postman and go back and forth and how i would personally debug all these problems which i had to do the other day while coding this demo for today so with that being said, I'll see you all in the next video where we can actually see if we get anything working here. And I just clicked the button by mistake as I close this out. So ignore this. Bye.